Hey, so like this, this is Super Zomica Barbecue, and today we are going to get ourselves our first fusion of Season 3. Looking forward to this hardened fusion. It's right here. It's cooking. It's cooking. It's cooking. We are ready to get ourselves that first fusion. Are you hype? 12 hours remaining. We're going to speed it up for everyone in this video. But whilst you're here on the video, remember to hit a like on the button that says like or thumbs up. Whatever it is you want to do. Hit a phenomenal forearm. I don't know. Hit a big boot. Bro kick the leg button. I don't care. Let's just go for the phenomenal forearm. I'd rather go that than punching it because I don't want legal action taking place for someone who's got glass shards in their hand. We're not playing ring domination, remember, people. So make sure you hit the like button before we go into this. Uh, I think this is endless. I think we just keep going through finishes. We're going to end up with like a Canadian flip pile driver. We're going to probably have a list longer than the list of Jericho or the list of submission moves that Jericho can do. But anyway, let's get into it. But Road to Glory has been and passed. We have got ourselves Randy Orton. If you haven't seen it, go check out the RTG Roulette, which will pop up just over here. It was one of the best RTG Roulette episodes I've ever done. Thank you to TZK, you who jumped in, uh, who is one of my one of the guys I usually do streams with or do videos with. He's awesome, and we've got Randy Orton right here. Now, he's the second Randy Orton, which means I'm going to get a pro, but I've got to wait for about, I don't know, give it two or three days. Maybe after the team event, I'll have Randy completely done. Uh, we've also got a uh, team event coming up. I've got four people from Twitch. And if you don't know about this already, people keep asking in the comments, can I join your team? Well, the answer is yes, you can. But at the moment, the way to get into a team is to become a Twitch subscriber because then you will be able to win places just like these guys have. Gaming Peg, uh, Jamie, uh, we've also got Flash999 and Z Reigns are all people who are subscribed to my Twitch. All of these people, as you can see, one of them in WrestleMania, one of them in SummerSlam tier, and a couple of them in actually in uh, in uh, early parts of Elite. A couple of them in early parts of Elite or Hardened. These guys, I mean, this guy, for example, Game Peg. Look, I'll show you his his deck now. This guy, literally, all he's done, he's only played 115 games, and he is going to get himself his first ultimate card first elite card so the only way to join the team is literally just be part of the giveaway it stops me then picking and choosing people and it's complete lottery then and it also stops me having to pick through people who maybe aren't so sincere and aren't going to mess me around the problem with doing it through youtube comments is a lot of people are like hey i want to join your team and they're like oh actually no i don't want to join your team or people who want to join the team and then they don't grind at all or they don't play at all during the team event this way and it is free to, to subscribe on twitch and if you get chosen for that which is awesome and i cannot wait to play with each and every single one of you if you do join the team the only rules are you can only get chosen once per tier so until the end of ultimate tier or elite tier or whatever until a new tier comes out you literally can only get chosen once and that's the only limitation to it but if you win it and you want to pass it on to a friend you can do so because some people are in ultimate already they don't want to play in my team, they just want to get their own ultimate cards. If you've got a friend who's in Hardened, uh, Killer Widget and PSC are actually two of my friends, and they have been added to the team to get themselves some free ultimate cards and elite cards whilst we had some spaces. So if you have a look at this, I mean, look at the Flash 999 as well. If I show you this, uh, his top cards, I mean, look, he's got WrestleMania cards for Christ's sake. He doesn't, the only pro he has is Goldust. I mean, the guy doesn't even have any pros above Legendary tier. But yeah, if you want to get yourself on that, hit up my Twitch page, hit the subscription. It's free for the first month if you use Amazon. Amazon Prime and if you've got Amazon Prime and you use it already it's free pretty much for as long as you keep Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime all the details of how to do that are in the description below but go knock yourself out but that is the best way I felt of doing a giveaway for team slots because otherwise it just gets really 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 complicated they come into your team and they're like yeah I'm just gonna sit there and get a free ultimate card possibly the most annoying thing ever if anyone's ever done that in your team let us know in the comments section below please here we go first fusion of WWE Supercard season 3 is coming hard on fusion here we go i love the designs of these cards so let's go and speed it up 1540 credits let's press it for sure yeah we're sure we can do this let's came the rewards but whilst we're talking about speeding up fusions okay i want to ask all of you do you feel that there should be a way for you, you, you to earn i don't know fusion tokens or something or some way of speeding up your fusion Maybe if you finish RTG in a certain amount of time, it should speed up your fusion by X amount of days. I don't know. I've just got a feeling that maybe there should be some kind of rewarding system to speeding up these cards if they're not going to have the stats that they usually have. 
I don't know. I just think that uh, charging so much for it is a bit just I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't sit right with me. But anyway, let's claim it. Season three fusion number one. Harden card. Claim rewards. It's gonna be. I'm looking forward to this. Ah! Oh! <laughs> nice. Uh, I got actually had a go at it's Tomaso Kiampa. Uh, if I don't get the pronunciation wrong, I apologize. Is it Champa? I don't know. Um, it looks awesome. I'm very, very happy with the card. The Tommaso Ciampa is my first WWE Supercard Season 3 Fusion. Let me know which ones you got in the comment section below. Regardless, whether you got to Summer Sam, whether you got to Harden, whether you got to Elite, whether you sped up and got you all the way to Ultimate, let us know in the comment section below. I certainly won't be speeding up to Ultimate because they're way, way too expensive. But I'm very happy with this. We are going to see the finisher. Before we get this back in the chamber for an Elite Fusion, which will take about five days to come back in about four or five for that. Let's go and do this. Uh, so let's check. This takes five days, 35,000 points, six days. It's just it's too much. But hey, let's look at who we could possibly get. We could possibly get Jason Jordan or uh, Chad Gable, two of the American Alpha. Um, I like that uh, Chad Gable's toughest and charisma. Love that. Um, very, very cool. I, I think he... Cut angle would probably be a toughest and charisma card when he eventually gets into super card. And it's almost like a it's almost like a given thing. It's gonna happen now. Scott Dawson being toughest and pattern having more toughest is good. Dash Wilder and of course you've got Maurice as well. I love the Maurice just for the image. You know what? I I, I love the, the image the image looks awesome on the card. And it makes me almost feel that I feel kind of odd for not speeding up this time. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it. I, I'm happy with the fact I got myself one and I didn't speed it up high a Betty at all. But hey, whatever. Project Champa. There is the card. Looks amazing in game. Uh, very, very happy with that. Uh, let's go and check it out. Maybe we'll get it lucky and have it first time. Unlikely though, uh, it usually takes about three or four games to get a card to proc. And we'll probably get two females and then the other card to proc during. It's just, yeah. Proc, by the way, means ability. Um... When did Emma get the Emma lock? Uh, that's new. Uh, fair enough. I didn't know that Emma got the Emma lock. Uh, but yeah. See, this is what I mean. Yeah. Uh, waiting for a finisher to activate in this. But there he is in all his glory. Project Champa. And I like that the cards look like the event cards. They've got like the kind of like, the transparency at the top. Uh, it looks very similar to the Undertaker card, actually. Um, what I'll tell you about having two females. So, let's go for another game. But hey, we did find Emma's new finisher, which I, I was never aware in a million years would show up. I, I was only under the impression that Shawn Michaels' finisher changed. And if you haven't seen WWE Supercar finishes, I've actually made a video of all of them. In before mandatory, three hours later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Hey, Project Champa, King coming power and toughness against the Silver Star Heath Slayer. Someone obviously doesn't like Keith Slayer and doesn't like the fact that he's got kids. He's got a feed. There is Tomasa Ciampa. This is his proc. Let's get into it. See what it looks like. I'm interested. Oh. Oh, that's good. That looks good. I like that. Um, that is... I thought that was just like a normal slam then. Back in the chamber you go, Tomaso. It's been good having you, my friend, but... Unfortunately, we need to part because... I want to get myself a Jason Jordan or a, or a Chad Gable. Where is Biggie? Biggie is going into the chamber. He's not enough. Are you kidding me right now? An Ultimate Pro is not enough to get this fusion chamber started. Ugh, back to the drawing board then. Way too many points, but who gives a damn? Elite Fusion. Here we go. And this is what I mean by cost. 14,000 credits to get this sped up. Nah, thanks. Nah, thanks. Maybe by a couple of hours like I've done today, but yeah, not that much. That's just crazy. But Elite Fusion is cooking. Who do you think I'm going to get? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to let me know what you guys got in your hard on fusions or any other fusions you've done in the comment section below as well. I will see you all very soon. Remember to like the video and also remember to subscribe using the little widget that's going to pop up just down here. The little cycle with my logo on it. Go check it out and subscribe because do it. I feel like a little bit of force to get people to subscribe. Just do it. Anyway, joking aside... Also, don't forget to check the description below for details to Twitch to go check out how you can get into that ultimate team and get yourself a place in an ultimate team. Also, remember to check out details to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Remember to go like all those pages, especially Facebook. We're trying to raise up as high as we can. And we'll be having a giveaway soon on Facebook so for people who like and follow the page. So, But one last thing before we go, and that is to... Zoif!